<clears throat> All right, man, let's talk about uh, shit the Lions cut, high tie, Romeo, Core, and Charles Harris. Uh, I see John Kaminsky is willing to come back uh, with the Detroit Lions, and obviously they can create more capital. I'm thinking around the $24 million mark. I think they would, with cutting them through, they, they can create maybe another 20. I can't, I don't know exactly. It's a lot of more money they can create. Um, seeing that the Chicago Bears are, um, they coming, you know, uh, you know, they look like they're going to get a left tackle and, you know, Justin Fields gave us all we wanted last year, especially in that first game. So, you know, you see how Lions fans trying to dismiss Justin Fields like he wasn't killing our ass, you know, even before he got hit in that second game, he was a problem. And, um, you know, now they about to give him weapons, you know, and, and that's up to him. You know, like I said, you can throw a lot of stuff in the pot in the NFL and it not taste right. So just because you got a bunch of money and you can put it all into, you know, your team, it don't mean that the team is going to be successful. You look at the Washington football team, look at the Philadelphia Eagles, super dr the dream team and all that stuff. But, um. You know, a lot of people, you know, think it's a foregone conclusion. The Lions is the next best team in the NFC North, especially you see the Eagles. I mean, you see the Vikings uh, losing a lot of defensive players. The Darius Smith want to be gone. You see the drama they held with Daniel Hunter, cut Eric Kendrick. You wonder what's going to happen with Harrison Smith, you know, out of Thielen being gone. So they seem to be going in, a, you know, the new regime probably saying, man, this is far as these guys can take me. But, you know, Lions need to make, make moves, you know. Lions need to make some 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 bold move if they want to be the next team up. Now, if they want to just continue to take their time building this franchise, then okay, you know, cool. But you know, Hot Tie, you know, I don't even understand how he's still a Detroit Lion. Get rid of his ass. He been a disappointment. Yeah, it was so much a disappointment they kicked him to uh to right guard, for right tackle. You know, so. You know, in my humble opinion, I'm just going to move him to out of there. You can, you guys, you can draft a, a young guard in the middle, in the middle rounds. You know, and if he, he ain't ready, you got Evan Brown, you know, Matt Nelson. You got a couple candidates that you can go out there and throw out there. So it just don't make no sense to continue to spend the money on him. And he ain't been, he ain't really been healthy. And when he been playing, he ain't been outstanding. So I, that's why I, I don't understand the science behind that one. And then you talk about Romeo Accord, you know, struggle standing up in the eye front, came back this year, couldn't expect much from him this year, you know. But at the end of the end of the day, you know, you might be in a position to draft another edge rusher, cut him, save some money, you know, uh, and go out there and put it back into the team. It makes no sense. You know, you got a thousand defensive linemen, like, you know, linemen. And you don't know if he ever going to return back to the form that he once was. You know, and the answer was, do you pay him or Kenny Galladay? No, you don't pay none of them. You don't pay neither one of them. That was the, that was the answer. We didn't know that at the time, but, um, but I mean, we got, you drive to Pascal, who's going to do some inside and outside. You know, you, you still got Austin Bryce, you got James Houston, Aiden Hutchinson, who emerged, you got Kaminsky. You know, you might be in position to add a Will Anderson and Tyree Wilson. You know, to me, it kind of becomes a no brainer. Even if you cut them in, you know, you want to add a Khalil Mack and see what Khalil Mack, if you can get Khalil Mack, maybe. Maybe you need a little veteran presence up there to help lead that, that to lead that front seven. You know, maybe you need a little veteran presence up there. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's just it's just it's just, you know basic mathematics, bro. When you start to look at you know kind of guys they don't need it and, and can go cheaper in those positions, Charles here has just explained it. I mean, you really don't need him no more. You know, go with the, go with a little bit of the youth movement, add some veterans some other places. So they can create a lot more cash space than they got to, to kind of offset what Chicago about to do and to kind of, you know, preserve and upgrade what they need, what they doing and what they need to do. You know, 
know, you just, you know, you just be looking, you just like, man, you just don't be trusting the Lions, bro. And it ain't, a, it ain't per se a Holmes, a Campbell thing, a Quintricia thing, a Mayhew Luan thing, a Matt Miller thing. It's just an organizational thing, man. It's so funny how people quick to jump out there and just show support for the Lions, you know, after saying, you know, they're going one and six and people jumping off the bandwagon saying get rid of Jared Goff and fire Dan Campbell. Now, you got to remember, I was the one that said, oh, no, don't fire Dan Campbell. You can look up the videos. I told y'all from the beginning to brace yourself for y'all expectations to be let down. And I said, you know, they wasn't healthy and they got healthy and they started to do something. But it just lets you know how thirsty Detroit is for a winner. Because people starting to pop champagne before they even, you know, do anything. People saying we was going to roll over the Carolina Panthers. I said, up, oh, not so fast. And I was right. Then y'all get mad at the Seattle uh, uh, LA game. You know? Yeah, I mean, all you had to do was, you know, win more games. And everybody going to put the Lions on the pedestal too early. You know what happened. You know what happened. You know when you start counting your chickens before they hatch. They gonna do the same SOL thing. I, 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 you know, tell people just to wait and see. Just wait and see. They don't deserve the benefit of the doubt. They don't deserve the benefit of the doubt. I say it again. They do not deserve the benefit of the doubt as an organization. They have not earned that right. And they need to get out with some of them older players, you know, in positions that you already got young guys stacked on top of young guys in, and, 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 and fill up hold, real holes. Like you need a veteran corner that can that can, that can hold it down, you know. Um, you know, you need an inside linebacker. Uh, and you know they gonna ride or die with uh you know they gonna they gonna they gonna ride and die with the running backs. I'm telling you they gonna ride or die with the running backs. It's gonna be the same issue they had last year. They can't handle the grind. And you know they gonna they gonna ride it out with golf. We know that they go with them. You no, know, they gonna stick with Jerry Golf. That's why I'm just like I just I always take a wait and see approach. Everybody think is what you did going, you know, going into the previous year going, going to carry into the next year, and it don't always work. It don't work like that. It's a new year, you know, and Ben Johnson got a challenge in front of him and seeing what he can, what else he can do with Jared Goff. So NFL defenses can't pick up on it. Coordinators can't pick up on it. That's what Sean McVay struggled with. He limits it. That's what people don't understand. It's a limitation, but. Those three guys they need to get rid of, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications for the live or drop the video. Financially want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. On Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.